Welcome back to Seattle at sunset. We're getting set now ourselves for game two of the national semifinals. It will be North Carolina against Arkansas with the winner to play UCLA on Monday night. And again, welcome everybody. I'm Jim Nance. What we have here, the last two national champions will play in this game. For Arkansas, the Razorbacks have won 10 straight in the tournament. The last time they lost was back in 1993 in the Sweet 16 against North Carolina. Let's take a look at the road to the Final Four. First, for North Carolina through Murray State, Iowa State, where they battled back from 14 down, Georgetown, and Kentucky. For Arkansas, a one-point win, overtime, overtime, then they put it together late to beat Virginia 68-61 and claim the Midwest Regional Championship. You gotta love this matchup here, Billy. A tremendous matchup. Two outstanding basketball teams led by outstanding players, Jimmy. Let's talk about Jerry Stackhouse for the Tar Heels first. Well, Jim, I said two outstanding players. What makes them so outstanding is they're so difficult to guard. Jerry Stackhouse can take you outside or in. He's a great finisher, tremendous leaper. And on the other end, you've got Corliss Williamson. And when you talk about being tough man to guard, this guy has great ability to get off the floor with all of that power of his. He's a relentless rebounder. He runs the floor extremely well, and you know against Virginia, Jim, he showed us he can step outside and hit some jumpers. Yeah, he had a couple of them in that game. So the Razorbacks, the defending national champions, take on North Carolina in game two next. CBS Sports coverage of the 1995 NCAA Men's Basketball National Semifinal Game is sponsored by the all-new Chevy Cavalier. It's all you need, and it's genuine Chevrolet. Bud Light. For great taste, make it a Bud Light. And by UPS, moving at the speed of business. New. Improved. Innovative. You've heard it all before. And frankly, 30 seconds isn't enough time to convince you that any car is new, improved, and innovative. So to find out more, why don't you give us a call? You'll find the new Cavalier is all you need. And it's genuine Chevrolet. Hundreds of natural forces may affect the survival of your business. And hundreds of companies may say they are as good as AT&T. But only AT&T guarantees that if your long-distance service ever goes down, it'll be back in minutes, not hours. Only our network gives every call a choice of up to 134 routes, so your calls get through, even when you can't. Hi, I heard the phones were down out there. Not mine. AT&T, for the life of your business. Now that you've given her away, you'll always cherish the memories. You'll always remember the joy. And you'll never forget the bill. $220 for parts. But hey, isn't that why you got Visa Gold in the first place? With all the purchase power to handle any occasion. Even the most precious. Visa Gold, it's everywhere you want to be. No trendy health club. No $60 shorts. No bull. Speedstick's no-nonsense formula gives you 110% protection. Like you, it never quits. By minute. This is the inspiration behind Goodyear's new 50,000-mile Wrangler Aquatread. Two aqua channels sweep water away for outstanding wet traction. Welcome to the Aquatread family. New Wrangler Aquatread, only from Goodyear. Time for the starting lineups for national semifinal action game two. Back we go to Mr. Frank Fallon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Kingdom for today's second national semifinal game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Now let's meet the starting lineups. For North Carolina, at forward, a 6'6 sophomore from Kinston, North Carolina, number 42, Jerry Stackhouse. For Arkansas, at forward, a 6'6 junior from Ruston, Louisiana, number 30, Scotty Thurman. For North Carolina, at forward, a 6'6 junior from Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, number 24, Dante Calabria. For 
Arkansas at forward, a 6'7 junior from Russellville, Arkansas, number 34, Corliss Williamson. For North Carolina at center, a 6'10 sophomore from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, number 30, Rashid Wallace. Arkansas at center, a 6'8 senior from Memphis, Tennessee, number 40, Elmer Martin. For North Carolina at guard, a 6'3 senior from Garner, North Carolina, number 21, Donald Williams. For Arkansas at guard, a 6'4 senior from Tulsa, Oklahoma, number 12, Clint McDaniel. For North Carolina at guard, a 6'4 sophomore from Charlotte, North Carolina, number 5, Jeff McGinnis. For Arkansas at guard, a 6'2 senior from Memphis, Tennessee, number 14, Corey Beck. And the coaches for North Carolina in his 34th season, Dean Smith. For Arkansas in his 10th season, Nolan Richardson. All right, Billy, let's set this one up with the Packer points and what to look for in this game. Well, Jim, quite a bit different than what we expected in the first basketball game. Slower, quick whistle. I think that the intense defense of pressure by Arkansas is something that North Carolina's got to get to the foul line often and early, see how the referees approach it. Opposite of tracks, and I'm talking about what's in the lane. Two great post players, they have an entirely different style. Who gets control of the low post? Wallace or Williamson? Air apparent. We're talking about two players that have the ability to take over a game. Jerry Stackhouse, Scotty Thurman. Which one gets the better of this matchup? Depth charge, we're talking about the bench. Bench production has been excellent for Arkansas, something North Carolina often worries about, but they had a great game off the bench against Kentucky. We'll see what happens today. The officials, Charles Range, Tom Harrington, Gene Monchi. Mention this is the last two champions meeting here, but a first ever. Donald Williams, the most outstanding player of the 93 Final Four will take the floor against Corliss Williamson, last year's most outstanding player. First time in Final Four history. Two former outstanding players at the Final Four meet again at the promised land. And the matchup of the last two national champions has happened only one other time, and that was in 1962. 1962, you had Ohio State win in 60, Cincinnati in 61, and they went against each other in 62 with Cincinnati winning again. Carolina gets it inside, but then turns it over as Stackhouse had Razorbacks around him. He hurt his ankle right off the bat. Jerry Stackhouse in some trouble. Outside, Elmer Martin knocks down a three, and the officials will let Stackhouse Get to the bench. How about that nice piece of sportsmanship by McDaniel? He wants to play against the best. He goes over Pat Stackhouse on the back. Let's see what happens here. I thought he got fouled twice. No call. And I said slow whistle, quick whistle. If that's an indicator, tough shape for North Carolina. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They're picking up right where they left off. There's Ooh. the whistle. Look pretty clean right in front of us. Exactly. That one looked like it was pretty good defense. Corey Beck looks over at us and says, <laughs> he's kind of laughing. He's saying, man, let me touch somebody. Jim, we remember that defensive intensity we saw in the second half of the Virginia game. Arkansas showing what led them to the championship last year. Beck gets the call and Wallace the turnaround. Uh, Rasheed Wallace is excellent in that low post with that turnaround jump. Got to put more pressure on him than that. Beck gives it up. Good passing here. Thurman free. Calabria rebound. You know, Martin, the good luck charm, Jim, as a starter. 13-0. Yeah, they don't normally count on him hitting a three to start the game. Well, Sullivan, of course, used the Final Four experience. Williams. Nice decision by Williamson. Nothing there. 
There's the matchup we want to see right here. Williamson and Stackhouse. I mean, in Wallace. McDaniel, three-pointer. Unlikely sources for Arkansas power right off the bat. Stackhouse, Jim, got up and tried to walk some, but he's still down on the sidelines in trouble. Pace of the game, what we expected. Calabria, travel. We're told, first report, a bruised thigh for Stackhouse. He's coming back. Back pull-up jumper. Corey has not been looking for his uh, shot in the NCAA tournament so far, has not scored double figures yet in any game. Calabria. Back out, McKinnis. We'll take a three. Yes. Good tap back by Wallace. 6-5 Hogs ahead, Williamson. Too strong. I think he expected more contact, Jim. Smart play by Wallace not to go after him. In the corner, Donald Williams. Well, he had 10 out of 14 from three. Back in 93, he's missed his first two beyond the arc. Scotty Furman off the shot clock. That'll be Carolina basketball. Donald uh, Williams, of course, two 25-point games in those, final, in those final four games. Stackhouse returns. So McDaniel gets his wish. Here's a 2-2-1 full court pressure. North Carolina with 20 turnovers against Kentucky's press. Still came away with a victory. Thurman read that one just right. Stackhouse still is on a gimpy leg. Straight man inside. Looks like they're letting Wallace guard Williamson by himself. Daniel, not this time. Martin kept it alive. Smartly tipping it to Beck. Corliss jumper. Showing us a nice touch on that shot. Corliss known for low post positioning. Stackhouse. McDaniel ahead. He got a man here. Back. The block by Calabria. Wow. Tar Heels now. Good pass over. McGinnis. This game's going to be in the hundreds, Jim, if they don't slow down. Somebody start hitting because defense hadn't had a chance to get in position. Williams drives. That's his shot. He loves that leaner. Last touch by Martin. Tar Heels ball. How about the block by Calabria? Well, Beck was wide open. Absolutely perfect timing by Calabria. Stackhouse again going out, maybe to get a little bit more medical attention. That Sullivan returns. Jim, a pace like this, a lot of times guys don't shoot well because they're losing their breath early on. They've got to settle down, get their second win, settle into some kind of pattern. Being very frenetic at this point. Guinness. Scotty Thurman sees Beck ahead. Assist for Guinness. He got back, but too late. Yep, raised the fingertips. Yep. And you've got it. When you get your guard to penetrate like that, somebody else has to pull back. Sullivan in trouble. Calabria, second best in the nation from three, and Wallace with the putback. The difference between Virginia attacking Arkansas's press and North Carolina's red, North Carolina will get it over the press and then try to score. Virginia just tried to get it over the press and then get into half court defense. North Carolina now in a two-three zone. Look for Scotty Thurman. Beautiful pass. No look pass. Martin almost got it. Corliss on his shove. Corliss incredulous. We reach the break with the hogs in front. stay until we solve the bizarre mysteries of this island.
For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. <laughs> Tourists. Like all Americans, I like big things. Big prairies. Big forests and mountains. Big wheat fields. And everything else. The American Business Day has no beginning, middle, or end. You're up by 6 a.m. to talk to London by noon. Late Tuesday in Vermont is early Wednesday in Sydney. No wonder UPS created Total Track. Up to the minute delivery information 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You may never know where you'll be at any given moment. Where am I? At an airport. But you'll always be able to track your package. UPS, moving at the speed of business. Thanks to Sprint Business, now the world is flat. Introducing flat rate pricing for small businesses on all your long distance, even for Sprint 800 service. Enhanced fax and cellular long distance. One low flat rate for everything all over the country. So you know just what you're paying. Now that's simple. Call now for flat rate pricing. 1-800-827-3700. Call Sprint Business. 20 years ago on the 16th, Jack Nicholas made this incredible 40-footer to win his fifth green jacket. A tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS Sports. Back in Seattle, UCLA team doctors have told us that the father of assistant coach Lorenzo Romar has been taken by paramedics to a local urgent care center after suffering a nausea and chest pains. The speculation is that he's had a heart attack, but that is not confirmed at this point. He will be tested. Assistant coach Romar did accompany his father to the hospital. Let's send it back to Jim and Billy. Thank you, Michelle. Our thoughts and prayers with the Romar family. Let's hope for a good report on that one. Cross court passing by North Carolina, always effective against the 2 2 1 pressure. I look over, and Jerry Stackhouse has got a pad, Jim, on that five, still on the bench. Alex Dillard, number three, Davor Remots, number 22 for the Razorbacks. Wallace tipped it once and bangs it right off of Thurman. Good hustle by Wallace. Scotty Thurman, very deceptive on the inside. He gets the hands on a lot of balls, but Wallace does a very intelligent thing there, bouncing it off Scotty's leg. Carolina's made only one of its last nine. Here you see zone pressure now. But Wallace doesn't realize how open he is. Donald Williams got it to go. He had missed his first four. Stackhouse. Still out. Donald Williams ice cold last year when North Carolina failed to move to the Sweet 16. He's got to light it up here, particularly with Stockhouse on the bench. Arkansas being very patient. Thurman with McInnes reaching in. They give McInnes with the hand slap. Jim, so far, I would say quick whistle in this basketball game. But Arkansas really hasn't had a chance to turn up the defensive pressure. Dillard out there on the side looking for that jumper. There you go. Wow, way too strong. McDaniel and Calabria run it. Sullivan snowbirding. He'll shoot two. Remox on the hat. Sullivan just happy to be here. Had a very serious back problem early in the year. That's good hands by Calabria. Excellent hit ahead as Sullivan released. Something always good to do against a team like Arkansas that wants to put all that pressure on, Jim. Release a man. Don't allow them to send five men to the board. And you remember this look right here. On the line at the Superdome with 20 seconds to go against Michigan. Made the first, missed the second. Right. Redshirted last year. Didn't think he'd get much playing time. Came back this year, a couple of bulging discs, had to have a six-hour operation and missed the first 21 games. Carolina with its first lead, 11-10. Remots. 
There's a release to Wallace. Wallace with Dillard there. Why? Oh, the big man does a 360 on the small man. <laughs> If Wallace is getting fired up, Jim, with plays like that, they need to get that ball down to Corliss some to keep him honest. Remots again. <laughs> North Carolina wanting to go long, keeping Arkansas honest on the rebound. Yep, they have players releasing early. Yep. Eight-point run for the Tar Heels. Make it ten. Without Stackhouse. Shooting strictly on the perimeter. Corliss is not touching it. They got to get the ball down to the man inside. He got him here, and he can take him to the next the next level. McDaniel, three-pointer, his second already. And McDaniel has not been having much offensive production in the tournament so far, Jim. Another guy that hadn't scored in double figures. But a man who can get it done on the defensive end. Without question. Solid screen, good step out. Calabria. Inside the Sullivan. Good passing. North Carolina has their heads turned. Arkansas on the attack already. Look at that range. <laughs> I don't think they've seen a shot in Seattle <laughs> launched like that since downtown Freddie Brown. We'll <laughs> be right back. If you could listen to what people really want and design a car around that. If you could give them the comfort they want and the safety features they need. And build it to quality standards you've never met before. You'd have a pretty good car. But if you could do all this starting at 16.3, you'd have a genuine Chevrolet. Introducing the all-new 1995 Chevy Lumina. We've worked hard all our lives. Now it's time to play. Annuities from Traveler's Insurance can give you more than 30 investment options for the retirement you want. You'll find what's best for you under America's umbrella. our new arrival, Taco Supreme Flavored Doritos. It's a breakthrough that brings us to a new level of performance. In the rain, in the snow. It even saves gas. Michelin's new energy tires with radial XSE technology. It's science that goes beyond magic. Do I look like someone who watches 60 Minutes? Well, I do. Why? Because if you don't have a clue, you don't have a chance. 60 Minutes. It's cool to be smart. Well, he's been chalking up victories at Carolina for 34 years. He loved those Reagan years. <laughs> Looks like he's a Republican there, Jim. Well, I don't know. He won Bush a championship Reagan. with Clinton in office, All 93. Right. They've got some subs in for Carolina's. Wicker, number 45. And Pierce Landry with the ball right now, number 22. Corey Beck, Dwight Stewart double-teaming McGinnis. Great job by McGinnis to fight through the double-team in the corner. He ended up drawing a foul, Jim, but he was in serious problem. Excellent trapping by Arkansas. They call it the other way around. They call it on McKinnis, his second. 
Well, the trap set that up. Excellent defense by Arkansas. Razorbacks have in 6'11", sophomore center Lee Wilson, who's getting better by the game in this tournament. Well, Stewart in the game now. Dillard out. Remember, Stewart's the guy who can step out and hit the threes. Here's Wilson right back to Remox for the three. Tip into Stewart. Wilson tipped it to Stewart. Going right over the top of the press. Kind of negated that pressure. Don't allow double teams with the dribble. Stackhouse. Corey Beck staying with Calabria. Doesn't want him open for any of those threes. Stackhouse. Bruce Dion all. Daniel. Tie-up situation. Arrow is Arkansas. Pretty good job by Wilson just to hang on to that ball, Jim. No space whatsoever on the pass. Norman Richardson told me back in January when we went in for the Kentucky game, as we see Remox knock down a three, that Lee Wilson has a great chance of being the best big man in Arkansas history. At that time, you didn't see it, you know, but since then, we're seeing signs. How about Remox hitting that jumper? Talking about the Kentucky game, he was supposed to start and had a kidney stone problem. Here's Landry, 22 for the heels, answers at the other end with a two. Pretty good perimeter shooting in the game right now. Rematch on one wing, Stewart on the other. He's got a quick release. Stewart. Swicker had position. Stewart, seven threes in the opening round for this club. Double team on Zwicker. Calabria cutting through. Wide open McGinnis. Three-pointer. What we're seeing is the European philosophy. Penetrate with the dribble. Punch on out for the three. America accepting something that they've done so well in another continent. Stay in the zone. Beck dumps it into Wilson. Oh. Zwicker had already turned around thinking Beck was going to shoot a three. Well, Wilson did a good job not turning around himself. Yeah. It looked like it was going to be a three. And by the time Zwicker got back around, he hacked Wilson. Donald Williams and Rashid return. McInnes and Zwicker out. Jimmy, you can see two different philosophies as to how to operate a bench. North Carolina operating primarily position at a time. They've got a sub guard, a sub forward, and a sub center. Arkansas substituting their entire bench. You know, likely to go down 10 or 11 deep. Almost platooning an entire team at a time. Both effective. Wilson only 50% from the line. Bangs that one home. 18 and 5 against Syracuse. That really when you start thinking about a Williamson foul out of the game, Wilson did a great job there. Again, the 2-2-1, and they still go man-to-man -man on the press. Landry in trouble, got it back to Stackhouse. He'll finish. Calabria, feet planted, air ball. He saw, and that, the horn sounded, that ball hit nothing, Jim. And the reason for that being so quick is remember the trouble they had getting it over half court. So good job by Arkansas. Twenty-two twenty, North Carolina. North Carolina's probably played more zone this year than any North Carolina team in Dean Smith's tenure there. Certainly the last 20 years. Stewart gives Arkansas the lead. Great release. Press is taking a lot of time off that clock, so North Carolina doesn't have that much time to operate in. Nice job by Wilson. Didn't let penetration. Stackhouse on the board with a three-pointer. He's really improved his range on his jump shot. He's primarily a 15-foot shooter when he got to college. Wilson. Chases it down. They reset. 
set to 35. It'll be Arkansas ball when we come back. North Carolina, 25-23. Cotton wrinkle free dockers. Pants so soft, they shrug off wrinkles. Dennis, you're just a little bit too tight, man. You need to loosen up. For me? Be provocative. Don't be so conservative. Shake things up. Be shocking. Let your hair down. Please, lay off the hair, okay? Over the top, man. Be an individual. So, what do you want me to do? Well, you can start by eating your pizza the wrong way. Crust first. That's weird, man. That's too weird. Introducing stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut. With a ring of cheese baked into a totally new, thinner crust, you'll want to eat it the wrong way. Crust first. Let's turn it around. Well, Dave, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. Large, just $9.99. This is a story about us, all of us, about millions of people going in just as many different directions, and thousands more men and women helping them get there. You see, at Chevrolet, we've always believed that the whole thing is about helping people find that one car or truck they can fall in love with. That's why in the past 12 months, we've introduced more new cars and trucks to America than anyone, every one a genuine Chevrolet. AT&T, this is Carla. Carla, this calling circle thing is too much for me. The TV ads, they're calling me at home. My terrier is less tenacious. You want AT&T True Savings. Yeah? It's the best way to save without circles. Good, because I want simple. Sign up, make $10 in calls a month, and we'll subtract 25% off your AT&T bill. 25% off to who? To anybody. Anybody? Anybody in the U.S. All right, you signed me up, because, you know, I just... Are you married? <laughs> AT&T True Savings. Save 25% to anybody, anytime, anywhere. Your true voice. You are watching the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. So far, Carolina has put the clamps on Arkansas, 35%. Thurman has not scored. Carolina did the same thing to Kentucky last week. You're exactly right, Jim. Tremendous a field goal percentage defense for North Carolina. Surprisingly, Arkansas this year, they have given up 44% from the field goal percentage, and with the exception of that great defense against Virginia, they have a tendency to allow people to get some shots off. Not like that ball club last year that played suffocating defense. Good pass here. Wallace, they call it a tie-up, but this time the heels will get it. Corey Beck got hit in the eye. Referee's got to hold on a little bit. He's, he's hurting in the eye. There you see Rasheed Wallace goes up, gets all ball and then some. He's going to stay in the game. Tough kid. We saw him play 20 of 25 minutes with four fouls last week against Memphis State, and then a touch foul. That's really both of his fouls now have been touch fouls. You remember the first one? Well, he can't get discouraged here. You're exactly right, Jim. Both of them right in front of us, really touch fouls, and that's that deal again. Quick whistle, slow whistle. Hard to get good pressure on if you can't do a little bit of checking. Nolan, I'm sure, is going to get up and start talking to these officials. He can't afford to let that happen much more. Williams steps in for two. Good block out on Wallace, and Wallace is accepting blockouts, Jim. Williamson's been out for a while now. In the man to man, Arkansas seemed to like with this lineup the zone a little bit better because Stewart could step out and get those open looks. Scotty Thurman being guarded by Williams. North Carolina jumps out with a double team. Four on the shot clock. Beck, bad eye and all. Too strong. Williamson now comes in. He'll be checking in on the next whistle. Trying to get the ball inside to Rashid. Got it there. Soft touch. Two outstanding sophomores. They know each other's game. 
Eight points for Wallace. Carolina four-point lead with six minutes to go in the half. Good double screen. Remach can't get the ball. There it is. Remach three. Right Good shot. Down the barrel. Jimmy very positive looking for his shot out there. Came off the screens well. Bad pass. Razorbacks now with a chance to take the lead. Down 27-26. Stewart working inside, and the Hogs lead by one. Terrific job. He took advantage of his size and chest. Go right over Stackhouse. Outside, Williams steps in for a two. Carolina back ahead by one. Long stretch without a whistle. Guys are showing effects of it, too, Jim. Wallace getting tired inside. Wilson. Touched by Carolina. Peels will bring in Sullivan and Calabria. Four subs for the Hogs with Corliss, Darnell Robinson for the first time, number 44. Alex Dillard and Clint McDaniel back. Corliss out for six and a half minutes on the game clock. Jimmy averages 31 minutes a game, so sits down about nine. Nolan Richardson really has the ability to use this bench. He knows how to do it. Thurman missing. Thurman still hasn't scored. With 440 remaining in the half. This is a three. Donald Williams got Robinson on him. Robinson not able to stay out there with him. It's hard to believe that Williams... It's getting open so much, Jim. He's got a lot of good looks at the basket in his first half. Wow, wow, why? Well, underneath, rejected by Rashid. You don't see that often. Calabria finds McGinnis. Wallace comes back out with it. Smart play on his part. Didn't have the good footwork, and he's very tired right now, particularly after that effort against Williamson. Williams again. Just beats the shot clock. I cannot believe that he's getting so open. Rasheed Wallace can't even breathe, Jim. He cannot get over half court. Taken away. Well, this was a little dose of uh, Scotty Thurman's own medicine from last year. From the same point, beat the shot clock here. Can't afford to leave that man open, and there's the block. inside today's PCs. You'll find something pretty amazing. The Intel Pentium processor. It gives PC software more life, more action, more energy. So if you want your PC software to really move, make sure your PC has the Intel Pentium processor. That's an old country. That's really old. Man, is that old. Only a country this young could create a car this cool. The Chevy Camaro. Two airbags, fuel injection, and a double wishbone suspension. Hey, you're only young once. The new Camaro. It's genuine Chevrolet. for kids, I think. But the people on the plane were very, very, very nice and gave me a puzzle book and silver little wings to wear on my sweater. I like the wings. Do you have puzzle books? I want to made my 
daddy laugh really, really loud. My daddy liked laughing. And we watched a movie, took naps, and talked. And it was really, really fun. My daddy liked them all the time. They're his favorite. He says they're different from the other ones because the people don't just work there. They own it. He says you can tell. Do you own this airplane? Or do you just work here? My daddy flies in so much he gets to fly for free sometimes. She's younger than she looks. My 15-year-old niece. But on a night every parent fears. We're gonna have a good time, baby. Is she in over her head? Under One Roof Tuesday. Hey, Billy, how about the two stars for Arkansas, including this man, Thurman? Well, you know, Scotty will get it heated up, but they've got two points between them. Corliss down inside against the 2-3 North Carolina zone. Corliss with two. Thurman shut out so far. Carolina enjoying its largest lead, 35-28. Alex Dillard. Dillard losing a little confidence when he put up that one from downtown and was yanked out of the game. Shimon Williams, number 15, into the Carolina lineup. Trying to do too much coming in off the bench. Nick Not Daniel his ahead. He's a fast one. Gets it back. Dillard, who's missed all four of his shots so far, now make it five. Tank pulls it down. Tank with the turnaround. That was a wild throw. Robinson trying to do too much, as was Williams on that last play. You come in off the bench, all the coach wants from you are not stats. He wants minutes. Swicker. Both teams not taking advantage of getting the ball in the hands of their key players. And a violation that time. Arkansas has really gone cold. It's missed its last nine shots. Jim, you cannot afford to come in off the bench with guys that coaches are just trying to get some minutes out of and have those players be an integral part of the shot selection. Now, Robinson has really taken bad shots for Arkansas. Williams tried to come in off the bench and make a big play, as did Swicker. There's where you want the ball. Stackhouse. <laughs> Neither team really settling down on the offensive end of the floor to execute. Been a really of a scramble type offense. They got McKinnis back in there quickly for Shimon Williams, who made just a couple of trips down the floor. Yep, they're, they're trying to get a few minutes here out of Zwicker as Wallace sits down. Another shot for Williams. He's fired up 10 attempts. Swicker into the second row, trying to save it. See the shot? That's the shot they want. Swicker, not the quickest of foot, but gave a lot of heart. Tremendous effort there. Young man played in the McDonald's High School All-American game. So it's not like he just uh, showed up at North Carolina. 138 to go in the half. Arkansas stuck on 28 for a while, shooting 28% from the field. They've almost forgotten a guy down in the post named Williamson. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. They've got to be thinking about him. Thurman gets his first bucket. And a three-pointer at that. The rainbow by Thurman cuts it to four. Beautiful head fake by McGinnis on that double team. They assumed he was going to give up the ball. Boy, up high and almost dropped. Oh, they didn't see. Scotty was wide open. Again, Jim, bad shot selection from the bench. Stewart. 45 seconds to go. Williams left open. Been saying that all game long. North Carolina doing to Arkansas what they did to Kentucky. Cross-court passing against that double team pressure finding good open perimeter shooters like Calabria and Williams Thurman the ball foul on Arkansas's Thurman well I thought Scotty got all ball there 
I think he agrees with me. Coming up on Pennzoil at the half, Pat O'Brien, Quinn Buckner, and Mike Krzyzewski will have their comments and analysis of the first half, plus game one winning coach Jim Herrick from UCLA. Pierce Landry comes in. Donald Williams has scored Carolina's last 10 points. Of course, Jim, what he is is very patient to go ahead and get in an offset position when the ball is on the opposite side of the court. By doing that, he's in a position to catch and deliver the shot right away rather than worrying about his footwork after he touches the ball. Good experienced player there. Sullivan will shoot one more. We were talking about his long journey back to the Final Four. He really was able to rehab after that surgery by swimming. I'm talking rigorous swimming exercises. Enough that Smith told him, I'd like to see you make the swim team by the time you get back. Scotty Thurman, the ball in his hands. Eight seconds to go. Landry's got a problem. Finally, they find Corliss. Double team. And he traveled. Plenty of time now for North Carolina to get something off. Dean Smith quickly puts back in his starters. Gets Donald Williams, McInnes, and Stackhouse and in for the final 3.6. See if Arkansas picks up full court to make North Carolina try to put the ball on the floor, occupying that time. Here they are, full court. Sullivan throws the baseball pass off the backboard. Stewart launches it. Is it enough? Can you believe that one? How about that? Dwight Stewart from just inside the midcourt strike. Jimmy, do they count it a three if it's on the other side of half court? Give them <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you remember Damon Stoudemire did this last year, not this far, right before the half? Well, a good never say quit. What a delivery. Oh. What a jolt. That's the end of the first half with the score. North Carolina 38, Arkansas 34. And CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message. And a word from your local station. 1995 NCAA Men's Basketball National Semifinal Game is sponsored by Goodyear, number one in tires. Intel, look for the Intel Inside Pentium Processor Symbol. And by 100% Cotton Wrinkle-Free Dockers. When I am alone in the half-light of the canyon, all existence fades to a being with my soul and memories. And the sounds of the big Blackfoot River fish will rise. This is CBS. Last year, no one showed. Not one maker of sports cars anywhere could step up to Pontiac Firebird Formula's challenge to match our standard dual airbags, anti-lock brakes, and 275 horsepower, even at almost twice the price. And this year, we're still waiting. Problem. Your lawn equipment just doesn't seem to cut it anymore. Solution? Go to Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse. Lowe's has the biggest selection of mowers, fertilizers, and lawn care supplies. Everything you need to shape up your yard. And nobody beats our prices, guaranteed. Because if you ever find a lower price, Lowe's will match it and take off an extra 10%. So, where do you go when things seem to be getting out of control? Lowe's. Because Lowe's knows lawns and gardens. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 14, the brain. An active brain, like those found in Advance Auto Parts salespeople, is capable of analyzing any automotive problem. I can't understand why I'm losing compression. In a millisecond, the brain is working, computing options, calculating dimensions, until it comes up with the solution, allowing part number 12, the hand, to take over. 
Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. For you kids at home working on your one-handed 55-foot jump shot, this is how you do it. CBS Sports presents Pennzoil at the Half, sponsored by Pennzoil, an official NCAA corporate partner. A picture postcard for you from us as Arkansas trails North Carolina in game two of the final four, 38 to 34. Hi, everybody. I'm Pat O'Brien, along with Quinn Buckner and Mike Krzyzewski. We're here at the uh, Pennzoil at the half, and uh, Quinn, just like you used to hit them, huh? Just like I used to hit them. You know, they practice that, and not a, really a practice, at the end of, the, of their practice session, they shoot the ball up like that. So I wasn't surprised to see him make it. I was surprised to see him get it because North Carolina had Arkansas on the ropes. They threw a little water in their face on that one. To an 11-3 run until that shot. Mike, your take on the first half. Well, Corliss Williamson hasn't been a factor yet, and I look for them to try to establish uh, him in the second half, and McGinnis has done a good job controlling the team. We pulled a play out that I know both of you want to talk about it. Let's roll it up now because we think it's a key part of the game. Yeah, here McG uh, McGinnis has the ball. He's going to be circled here, and when he has the ball, he's going to start penetrating. That's the key to their offense, so he starts penetrating, and he kicks it off to Landry. Okay, but McGinnis stays in the play. Now Landry hits the ball inside to Swicker. There's Landry with the ball. Swicker's going to get it inside right there. We call this inside action, and then he gets it outside to Calabria, passing it out to McGinnis, who stayed in the play for the three, and that's why they're a great three-point shooting team. All right, Quinn, you got the same play. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, what else you see in there. If you keep an eye on Arkansas, the thing that they do is they chase the basketball, and as long as you chase the basketball when you're trapping, there's a double team, somebody's got to be open. Mike's exactly right. I think that there has to be a little more discipline in that defense. You're like uh, Siskel and Ebert of basketball here. We want to bring uh, Jim Herrick. Congratulations, Coach, on your win in the first game. Thank you, Pat, very much, Quinn, Mike. It's more fun this way, isn't it? A couple of things that's get out of the way. First of all, uh, your assistant, Lorenzo Romar's father, was hospitalized. Do you have an update for us? Yes, Davis Romar, Lorenzo's father, they were, took him to the hospital. He was complaining of chest pains and and uh, he's in stable condition right now, and they're examining him right now. Our thoughts are with him. Now to the game. Tyus Edney's wrist, is it a problem for you? Well, he said he couldn't shoot in the second half, so we'll have to ice it and work on it over the over the one day we have off. <laughs> as long as he can penetrate. That's, that's all he needs to do. Go I'll to the tell you what, let's all take a look at the uh, highlights of this game, because uh, I know Coach wants to see Tyus' uh, dipsy do shot, as you called it. Uh, Ed O'Bannon was hot early on. Well, what you know about UCLA, but you can't find it out until you watch them in person. They change ends of the court as well as anybody I've ever seen. Great quickness. And Jim, have you seen enough tape of Big Country this week? Oh, he was he was fabulous uh, in the first half, and and uh, we tried to guard him a little bit better in the second half. He got seven in the second half. Charles O'Bannon, Mike. Yeah, watch Charles. He just drives, and that penetrating ability uh, creates a lot of opportunities for UCLA. Well, I tell you, Big Country Reeves gets it right there, but I thought near the end of the game, he started to wear down. UCLA did a good job keeping pressure on him. Here it comes, Coach. That's it. The last eight minutes, Pat, I said, take him, take him, take him. That's all I said. How big of a stud is Ty, I said to him. He is really making a statement in this tournament, is he not? He's had a terrific tournament, and I'm glad the country gets to see the kind of basketball player he really is because he's done that for us for four years, but... You know, with Ed O'Bannon on the team and Stoudemire uh, at Arizona, he's kind of been overshadowed, but Missouri, uh, Mississippi State, UConn, and tonight he's, he's come up huge. And now he's, uh, I hate to say this, kind of the darling of the tournament, uh, of the country, too. Hey, Mike, excuse me, Mike, do you buy a player like that dinner every night? <laughs> well, I used to buy Hurley dinners like that because he makes you look really good. I'm sorry, I Quinn. told him after the Missouri game, I told the media, I'm taking him home. He's going to sleep <laughs> in my bed tonight. Coach, let's talk about what I think Ed O'Bannon has done for your team. It appears to me that his his presence defensively, or the, that thought and that toughness permeates your team. Give me your he thought. He really is a great all-around player who's very unselfish on the offensive end and defensive end. He came in the huddle when Henderson and uh, and Zedek had four fouls. He said, "I want to watch him. I want to watch Big Country. Get let me have him." And for two, three minutes, he took him 
from the seven minute mark, 740, allowed us to get inside six minutes. Then I could come back with Zedek and then have Henderson ready to play. So it helped us a lot. Let's talk about the second half in this game. Coach, what do you, what do you see in the second half for Arkansas North well, Carolina? Well, I think that uh, they've got to stop the three-point shooting. You know, Donald Williams, if you, if you forget about him, boom, 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 and now you're down. He's got 13 points on the game. Mike, your thoughts? Well, they got to they got to stay with Williams, but then uh, on the offensive end, Thurman and Williamson have to shoot the ball for Arkansas in order to win. They, they got to get it inside. If they don't get something inside, then, they're then you can pressure the three-point shooters, and Arkansas will struggle with that. All right, good job, guys. Uh, earlier today, in case you missed it, in Minneapolis, the women held their national semifinals. Tennessee defeated Georgia in the openers, and they will meet UConn, who downed Stanford in tomorrow's title game. And we'll have our coverage for you at 3.30 Eastern time, right here on the home of the NCAA basketball championships, CBS. Uh, any picks on this game, Quinn? I haven't asked you to pick a game, uh, a team all day. I pick UCLA. <laughs> You're the first guy this year. Coach, you want to take going no, on the I'm, I'm a coach. I don't make predictions about it. All right, what's your team going to do tonight now, Jim? We're going to watch the rest of this game, and as soon as I can get out of here, we're going to go home and eat and go to bed because it's daylight savings time, and we lose an hour, and Ed O'Bannon has to be back here at 8 and at 9 in the morning. He's receiving the United States Basketball Writers Player of the Year Award, and I, I really hate that because he doesn't get a great night's sleep. But uh, it's part of it, and, and uh, my staff and I will probably stay up all night watching a little bit of tape and making, deciding what we want to do. And then uh, tomorrow we'll meet and, and uh, go through some just a few things. You don't make a lot of adjustments now. You do what you've been doing. Ed will be with us. We'll give him a nice breakfast and take care of him for you, okay? <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Congratulations. All right, Pat. Thank, thank you. That Thanks, does it for us on Pennzoil at the half. Thank you for watching. Jim and Billy will rejoin you when the Final Four continues on CBS. A big night in Seattle right after this. Stay with us. Pennzoil at the Half was sponsored by Pennzoil, an official NCAA corporate partner. Being ranked best model in his price class in initial quality by J.D. Power & Associates puts the Geo Prism on something of a pedestal. But being priced starting at $12,050 puts Prism very much within reach. Get to know the car ranked best in its class in initial quality. Geo Prism at your Chevrolet Geo dealer. Our country is filled with monuments to students. Juniors who just finished finals. Athletes who won the big game. Seniors who went to the prom. Graduates who just landed jobs. Unfortunately, these monuments are for the way they celebrated and died. If you're in high school and you want to play sports at an NCAA Division I or II school, you must be certified by the NCAA Initial Eligibility Clearinghouse. Ask your coach or guidance counselor for one of these student release forms, fill it out, and send it to the clearinghouse. Remember, if you're not certified, you can't compete as a freshman in NCAA Division I or II. For more information, call 319-337-1492. A new set of academic standards for freshmen is now in effect. To practice, play, or receive an athletic scholarship, freshmen will need a 2.0 grade point average in at least 13 core courses in high school and a minimum score on the ACT or SAT. Make it a point to talk to your coach or guidance counselor about these requirements. Prepare yourself now. It's never too early to hit the books. This message provided by the NCAA. This week, Dave's All New with Elle McPherson, Richard Lewis, Dolly Parton, Martin Lawrence, Duran Duran, Brian Gumbel, and Bruce Springsteen. This week. Halftime at the Kingdom. The score, North Carolina 38, Arkansas 34. We'll return to Seattle after this message and a word from your local station. Yeah. And that one? 69 Firebird. You're getting good at this. 
Hey, Dad, there's a brand damn coupe. I bet it's got a five-speed and 150 horsepower, like our sedan. Are you a Pontiac man or what? Yeah, and I'm gonna drop a grand damn. Really? Which one? A fast one. That's my boy. Of course, I have to talk to your mom about this. I'll talk to her. <laughs> it's happening all over the country, in small towns, in cities, maybe even in your own neighborhood. It's NCAA Championship Competition. You can be there if you know where to go. Find out with the championship dates and sites brochure. To receive your free copy, write to NCAA Publishing, 6201 College Boulevard, Overland Park, Kansas, 66211-2422. This is CBS. talking to uh, cars about BP Super 93. How do you feel with the Super 93? I feel very, very good. Uh, good. It just goes through the intakes, and it just seems to make me run better throughout the day. One day I made the mistake of getting a different gas. We won't mention it. Yeah. And not only did I chug, but I went right back to BP. Well, there you have it. Nine out of ten cars, when asked, recommend BP Super 93. BP on the move. I've used 93 since first. Uh-huh. My job takes me to the outer fringes. I sell satellite dishes to people who can't get TV reception. I do about 250 miles a day. I sold to the Barlow's and the, the Reynolds, gone 165,000 miles. People wonder how I get to them, so I show them my Saturn. So far, I've sold 2,000 dishes and six Saturns. Who knows who I'll sell to next? Will they be celebrating in the streets of Chapel Hill? Find out at 11. The 1995 NCAA Men's Basketball National Semifinal Game is sponsored by Pontiac and your local Pontiac dealer. Pennzoil, the motor oil that works like liquid ball bearings. And by Doritos Tortilla Chips. Big basketball, big hoop right before the half for the Razorbacks by Dwight Stewart. Ten points to lead the way for Arkansas on that one. Jim Nance and Billy Packer, 13 for Donald Williams, the top scorer in the game. What to look for, Billy? You talked about it before the game. Let's get the report card here. Well, the slower, quick whistle. Although there haven't been a lot of fouls, I think the way the game is being called favors North Carolina because they've taken away Arkansas's traps. Opposites the track, and so far it has been Rasheed Wallace who has gotten the advantage, and I think that is the fault of the Arkansas teammates. They have got to give Corliss Williams in the ball. He never touched it. Air apparent, well, Michael Jordan's back, but the two key for offensive performers for each team, Stackhouse with a slight injury, and Thurman have really not exploded yet. I expect that to happen in the second half. Depth charge, Arkansas, best team in the in the tournament, regarding their bench points, they've outscored North Carolina 18 to six, but they're taking 20 shots, Jim, in the first half. Look at the shot chart. Yeah. Look at this ball down here. We don't even have it. It wasn't even on on our shot chart situation. But 12 for 40 shooting for Arkansas. Bad shot selection. Now North Carolina tries to go long. Ball hits the backboard. This is almost like Bird to Jordan, off the wall, off of this, off of that, and there's the delivery. Let's measure it just over 50 feet, call it inside, outside, or whatever. Midcourt stripe from the other end. Stewart, an electrifying exclamation point to finish the first half. Arkansas now down four. Worry back. That quickly, it's a one-point game. Corey Beck looking very comfortable on that shot. Stewart in the starting lineup for Martin here in the second half. Game could take a different complexion. Turnover, the ninth committed by the Tar Heels. Oh, and Arkansas with a chance on that break to take the lead comes away empty. They only had three turnovers in the first half. Stackhouse. Three-pointer, his second of the game. He's got six points. 
Corey Beck somewhat upset. Felt he didn't get back on defense the way he wanted to after hitting that jumper. North Carolina in the man-to-man. -man. Not guarding Williamson on the perimeter is Wallace. Williamson has position. Now they get it to him. There you go. Both teams have settled down here in the second half looking much more organized. First half was a matter of bad shooting percentage by Arkansas because of bad shot selection. Hold on Stewart. And here's Corliss posting up. There's not a guy in the country can allow Corliss Williamson to get the low post because he uses that wide body so well. Rasheed Wallace plays behind him, trying to count on his shot blocking ability, but you just can't get to that wide body. I expect Arkansas to go down inside time and time again in the second half. It sure looked easy on that last one. He makes it look easy because he works so hard for position. Screen by Stackhouse frees him for a three. Donald Williams. Donald Williams, three point basket. Stewart inside his range. Didn't take the shot. <laughs> inside 50. Yeah, feet. really. I was going to ask you, did you find that? Wallace says, get that out of here. And Stackhouse ahead to Calabria. Good hustle. <laughs> There's the double down. Inside Corliss. And one. Again, Rasheed Wallace is going to be taken to school if he thinks he can play Corliss Williamson behind. Of course, Rasheed used to play in some excellent postmen. Tim Duncan from Wake Forest, Joe Smith from Maryland. And they're outstanding players, but I don't think either one of them in the low post any better than this man right here and maybe not as good. Corliss Williamson, who broke his wrist in last year's championship game and didn't even know it until about five weeks later and had to sit out the whole summer. His weight, in fact, ballooned to over 280 pounds being inactive. Well, I would have had to ask him, Jim, you didn't break your leg, you broke your wrist. He should have been running, you know? It's the first time he hadn't been actively involved with basketball in the summer, he said, in a long, long time, maybe in his life. Uh, McDaniel slipped and committed the foul. And again, you see this movement by North Carolina. Dribble penetration and then throwing the shot, the, the, the pass back outside for the three. Since they have four players on the perimeter that can all shoot that three, it's tough to defend. Stackhouse throws oh. by Williamson. Thurman. Oh, he thought it was clean. Uh, Scotty is so quick getting his hands on the ball inside. That's the second time, Jim, he's got called on that foul. Boy, aside from Corliss's broken wrist, Corey Beck had knee surgery. McDaniel in a pickup game two weeks after the title game. Broke a thumb, had to have an operation. Sheet Wallace shooting too. Darnell Robinson had knee surgery. And Jim, you know, Corey Beck stepped on some coral over in Hawaii. That required six stitches in his foot. And I think it's the real reason why Nolan Richardson hasn't had a chance to have this ball club on all cylinders this year with those nagging injuries. But there's still 30 wins. <laughs> 31 yeah. and six. Same number of wins as a year ago when they won the title in Charlotte. Stewart posting up on Stackhouse. He's beat him once down here. Now a second time. Another one in the first half. So we know that Stewart can shoot from the outside. I think he's finding it comfortable using his size advantage on Stackhouse. Ooh, Wallace. Close one. A little out of range there. Donald Williams would like to be in one more step. Arkansas trailed in the second half in the first four tournament games. Trail by four to Texas Southern, three to Syracuse. And there's Scotty Thurman tying the game at 47. A team that came from 12 back in the second half against Memphis and six down second half to Virginia. 
As many as seven down in this half to Carolina. Beck ahead. Beck for the lead. Williamson on the follow. Carlos Williamson is a great runner of the floor, Jim. He carries that big body 90 feet. Dean Smith screaming. He's hand checking. Calabria three pointer. Nice run for Arkansas here. A 10 1 Razorback run. Thurman. Ooh, his favorite shot comes up short. Dean Smith telling his spot to push the ball up the floor. Nobody coming to meet the pass. This really wears Rasheed Wallace down. Stackhouse. Third three-pointer. North Carolina staying in man-to-man. -man. They may have to go to that zone, Jim, to just to save a little energy defensively. push they say actually on Wallace I thought also Calabria reached in but they give it to Wallace and the whistle brings us for the first to the first official timeout of the second half one point Carolina Lee Announcing our new arrival, Taco Supreme flavored Doritos. You got the winning color. I've noticed my father using Penn's oil. It's a good product, and I've been using it for about, I'd say, 16, 17 years. Now with the revolutionary Penn Star molecule, Penn's oil clings to moving parts. Works like liquid ball bearings. Penn's oil says it works like liquid ball bearings, and if they say it, I believe it. Penn's oil. Proud official NCAA corporate partner. Pontiac Sunfire. Now, if you take yours dog sledding in the Yukon, all that interior room means for once, your sled dogs won't argue about who gets in front. Or if you take your new Pontiac Sunfire zipping over to that Pisa place, the sports suspension and high revving engine mean you'll really enjoy driving it at the full tilt. Finally, a real set of wheels for around 12.5, the all new Pontiac Sunfire. Yes! Dan's found the girl of his dreams. This could be the one. Yeah, what's her name? Jane. Jane what? Jane. <laughs> she could be the one, okay. The George Witt Show, Wednesday. Well, what lies at the end of a rainbow in Seattle? We know UCLA will play for the title Monday night against the winner of this one. And Billy, how about the Razorbacks coming Jim, out here in the second half? Check this man, number 34. The best man, big man in the world at doing this is Carl Malone. But on the college level, nobody be does it better than Corliss Williamson. A big man with a lot of power taking off and getting down court before the guards. And there is the zone defense by North Carolina. Daniel. We're seeing a different shooting scene here in the second half. I think the reason for that, Jim, is Nolan Richardson, and this is a nice move on his part. You know, he had everybody playing in that first half. A lot of unusual lineups. He stuck right with his starting team here in the second half, and their shot selection is so much better. Here comes the traps. Williamson got a piece. 
And now Rasheed Wallace doing a lot of elbow, and he's going to pick up a cheap foul here if he doesn't watch it. Two three zone. Williamson, what a move. Wow. 54 50 Arkansas. He turned Wallace around on that one. Calabria, three pointer. Excellent spin move, and what made it so effective is that. Corliss did not use his arm to go ahead and lock Wallace. He got called for a foul. Just an excellent spin move. Drop step right inside. North Carolina stays man to man. And they move Stackhouse on, on Corliss Williamson. This will be hand to hand. Arkansas will be patient. Even though Stackhouse has got some quickness, he can go through him. 15-4, Flurry by Arkansas. It's a lead, 54-50. Two-three zone. McInnes. North Carolina really cold. Oh, a collision. Got three on the floor, and it looks like Stackhouse, the slowest one, getting up. Stackhouse going on right in between, splits. Beck gets down underneath him. Corliss comes over from the weak side. Third on Beck, Stackhouse shakes it off. Beck, who always seems to be walking a fine line between staying in the game and fouling out. Well, what he did, Jim, in that Memphis game was amazing because he had great defensive intensity. He had the ball in his hands a lot. He had the four fouls, and yet he was able to stay on the floor and with a difference in that ball game. Here is the AP All-America team. Stackhouse, the first Carolina first-teamer since J.R. Reed in 88 when J.R. was a sophomore. Wallace on a tap back. Calabria set up for the three. There's Beck with that great rebounding ability as a guard, blocking Stackhouse out. Thurman. McGinnis gets his team on a run here. Every shot has been contested. That's one you have to finish off. See how effectively Arkansas is working the ball now, Jim, with his starting lineup on the floor. Nothing like what we saw in the first half. Nope, didn't see much of that in the first nope. half either. 56-51 Arkansas. You cannot play behind him. Calabria on a previous trip had a chance to tie it from three-point land, but he's 0 for 4 in the game after shooting 52 percent of the season north carolina now is starting to take some bad shots themselves calabria the leading three-point percentage shooter in the country daniel ball on the line carolina ball and they'll go to the benches corliss with 11 points in this half to put the razorbacks ahead This is the inspiration behind Goodyear's newest Aquatread, the all-new Wrangler Aquatread for light trucks and sport utilities. Two aqua channels sweep water away. You get the sheer rugged toughness of a Goodyear Wrangler and the outstanding wet traction of a Goodyear Aquatread. Welcome to the Aquatread family. The new 50,000-mile Wrangler Aquatread, only from Goodyear. If I serve him up, geez, what you been eating? Will you say to me now that you will cut me loose for all time? Do you want my hand on it or something? You got something to say? I will do whatever I have to do to protect me and mine. Don't push, all right? 
David Caruso, Samuel L. Jackson, and Nicolas Cage. Kiss of Death. Rated R. Starts Friday, April 21st at theaters everywhere. There are no medals for being the shoulder to cry on. No songs of praise for keeping traditions alive. But to the men who give their best every day, we offer our best. Gillette Sensor XL. Spring-mounted blades and microfins to set up your beard. And Gillette Series Shaving Gel for incredible smoothness. Sensor XL, the world's best shave. And sometimes that's its own reward. Gillette, the best a man can get. So you're probably wondering how Oldsmobile ever came up with a car like this. Well, first we told all the bean counters to go to lunch. Then we sent all the pencil pushers home. And finally, we had our engineers watch a lot of exciting movies. The result wasn't like anything we'd ever done, or anyone else either. It's your money. I'm Tom Snyder. This week on The Late Late Show, Barbara Walters, Whoopi Goldberg, Marianne Williamson, and John Bon Jovi on The Late Late Show. Just off the Puget Sound, Seattle doing another outstanding job at hosting the Final Four, the third time since 1984, 84, 89, 95. Shooting percentages for Arkansas changing dramatically, Billy. Exactly double what they had. They were shooting 30% in the first half, 60% in the second. It's been great shot selection and really utilizing Corliss Williamson inside. Scotty Thurman steals it to Beck. Oh. Beck on the other side comes away without any. Carolina now has missed its last six. Three and a half minutes without a field goal. Donald Williams. Everything's being rushed by North Carolina. They stay in the man-to-man -man defense. Now it's Sullivan down there on Corliss Williamson. Dean Smith trying again to get a couple of minutes here. On the blocks, Williamson. And Rashid alone underneath. Sullivan did a pretty good job. Took Wallace Williamson a step away from where he wanted to be on that turnaround. And Arkansas staying in the zone. Pierce Landry, former JV player at Carolina. They whip it around on the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. Got to beat it now. Landry can fire it. Stewart doing a great job, Jim, on the defensive oh. glass. And it will be turned back over to North Carolina, but he's keeping Wallace off the boards. So the overrule keeps it with the heels. Davor Remotz comes back in. Billy, he hit a couple of shots in the first half from three-point land. Beck goes out. And because they had no time on that, try to make a tough play. Isn't the Arkansas interesting, Jim? They're out-rebounded by their opponents on the year. But when you look at this club, you say, how is that possible? You got so many guys who go up on the boards, good bench. Stewart. Landry got caught. Turns it over for a second straight time, but Arkansas returns the favor. Double dribble. Tomorrow, the RCA Player of the Year show at 12 o'clock Eastern time, followed by the McDonald's High School All-Star Game. Then bumps and jumps in the women's national title game, Tennessee and UConn. North Carolina will have to figure out a way to get a little bit slower pace to get some good shots off. Backhouse, former MVP of that McDonald's High School All-America game, will go to the line. One of our scouts down there, Mikey Arnold, who works for us, said Vince Carter has looked awesome in St. Louis this week. He'll be playing tomorrow, and next year he'll be playing for North Carolina. Yep, young man from Florida. Stackhouse, nice passing on the interior down inside. Oh, Stewart. 
to the bench. Wilson in. Stackhouse, tremendous ACC tournament. Not enough to offset the incredible play of Randolph Childress. But right behind uh, Joe Smith of Maryland this year is the leading vote getter for all conference in that league. 56-52, Hogs. Nine and a half remaining. First time North Carolina was going to jump trap. I thought he walked, but no call, and Williamson cashes in. Well, he's locking in about six feet from the basket and just controlling this second half. Another turnover forced on the double team. McDaniel flings it to Williamson. Two more. 60-52, Arkansas's biggest lead. Calabria still can't get a three. Stackhouse with a whistle. And a shoot two. At the King Dome in Seattle. Arkansas trailed by as many as seven in the first half. And again in the second half, it got up to seven. But they fought back the Razorbacks to take an eight-point lead with just 8.58 remaining. Jim, we talked about these clubs, all four teams in the Final Four this year, starting off their conference seasons with losses. Everybody can remember this Arkansas club in their very first game this year against Massachusetts, where they just were drubbed up in Springfield. A lot different ball club right now. Here's a nice move by Nolan Richardson. Takes Corliss Williamson out, give him a little rest. He wants him ready to go down that last six minutes. That leaves the two sophomore towers inside, Wilson and Robinson. Not usually on the court at the same time. Really like the way that Nolan Richardson has orchestrated this game. Everybody got in the first half, try to wear North Carolina down, second half, until right now, really stuck with that basic starting lineup. Now using a little time. the difference in shot selection this second half and compared to the first. Remots gets it back. Swatted away again. Rashid forcefully sending that one out of there. Stackhouse three-pointer. They are just contesting every jump shot. Stackhouse, great hustle, but had a foot on the line. Here's Landry comes in, and Billy... Calabria, 52% again on the season from beyond the arc, 0 for 6. Uh, Jim, I haven't seen a jump shot in this second half that North Carolina has been able to take that didn't have a man right in their face. It's really affecting. Uh, North Carolina overall has missed its last 10 from the field. Well, when you consider that, they probably aren't in that bad of shape down to 6. Scotty Thurman, so patient, so unselfish. He passed up a, a shot you yep. would think he'd take from out there. They'll reset the 35 with the kick. The shot clock has gotten down to five. We'll be right back. They get no kick being thrown from a plane. A thousand foot fall doesn't thrill them at all. So tell me why should it be true that they get a kick out of doo 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 Final call. We've got to move fast, Kirby. I hope you booked Hertz. Uh, not exactly, but this company's fast. As fast as Hertz number one club goal? Not exactly, but they do have a special place to pick up the car. Like Hertz? Not exactly, but it'll be waiting. Under a canopy? With the keys in it? Not exactly. And protected from the weather? Not exactly. In Rent-A-Car, there's Hertz and there's not exactly. Make sure you choose the right one. Counting on that promotion, Kirby? No, not, not exactly. No. Ah! It's 3 a.m., and you've got to get the year's most important contract to your company's biggest client overseas. 
And guess what? The facts just won't go through. What are your options? Well, now there's a new option. Call 1-800-THROUGH-FACTS and AT&T's International Fact Service Center will help you solve the problem. Only AT&T guarantees to get your international facts there. Or we'll send it overnight. AT&T, for the life of your business. When the chance came to work at Saturn, part of a new crew, I hoped what I'd heard was true. For every step of the way, the people who build the cars are responsible, and they can make a judgment. Maybe that's why October 12th is a day I'll never forget. That's the day I pulled the rope and stopped the Saturn line. It was just a broken retainer clip. It just took a minute to fix. You know, given the chance, anyone prefers to make a perfect product. At Saturn, by giving us that rope, they've given us that chance. You are watching the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. Arkansas 60, North Carolina 54. Corliss Williamson, different story of the second half, but been sitting now for a couple of minutes. Carolina last hit a field goal with 15-10 remaining in the second half. Clock now reads 7.44. And Jim, with Corliss Williamson having a great second half, Rasheed Wallace has not had a point since 6-10 left in the first half. Wow. Saved by Landry. Remots gets it back. And Wallace not aggressively going for the ball there. Has to anticipate the kickback. It's interesting how the good execution by Arkansas took North Carolina out of their zone. Thurman three. Tipped up by Wilson. Robinson. Carolina eight down with seven to go. Carolina over eight minutes without a field goal. So now getting much more aggressive by Arkansas. Really bumping out of the perimeter because there's nothing down in the center that's getting it done. Robinson stripped it away, and Wallace, Wallace hurt his hand on that. Ball goes down inside. Looked like a chopped foul right there. Wallace certainly felt so. Just call it out of bounds on Arkansas. 62-54, Razorbacks. See, you just don't have a shot. First half, they were getting a lot of easy looks. Got to beat the shot clock now. Got to put it up. McInnes. Excellent defense by Arkansas. Remots. Lee Wilson. Last basket by Robinson. This one by Wilson. The sophomore centers give Arkansas a 10-point bulge. Calabria, will he get one? Not this time. Look at Remots hustling down the court and going to the wing. This has been a great second half by Arkansas, Jim. Just terrific play. Both ends of the floor. Good shot selection. Tough defense on the ball. And now they're using a little clock. Good heady play by Beck, the leader. Remots three. And a foul called on Stackhouse. What you see right now is a huge height advantage because the two twin towers, Jim, one occupies Wallace, the other one just too big on the opposite side. We saw Wilson on the putback. That time we saw Robinson over Stackhouse. That's the third on Stackhouse and only the third foul of the half on Carolina. Talk about the Razorbacks play in this half. For the game, they've only turned it over five times. Wilson. They can't stop the size, and Corliss Williamson's on the bench. Nolan Richardson enjoying the way his team's playing. May say, hey, I'll rest him. That young man, of course, set the tempo here in the second half. Jeff McGinnis collects his third. Again, only the fourth. So three away from the one and one. 5.27 remaining. 
Robinson in the first half would have taken a jump shot there. In the second half, he wisely gives it up. Entirely different play by Arkansas in the second half. Solid screen that time on Wilson gets the foul. Dean Smith knows he's got to go ahead and get some points from somewhere. Fortunately for him, he's going to be able to go to the foul line without an Arkansas defender in somebody's face. It'll be a one and one at the other end. You know, the last two years in the NCAA tournament, look at the coaches Nolan Richardson has knocked out head to head. John Thompson, Steve Fisher, Lute Olson, Mike Krzyzewski, Bayheim, Finch, and Jones in that list. Jim, you pointed out at the top of the show, this Arkansas club has not lost a game in the NCAA tournament since you go all the way back to that North Carolina loss in the, in the regionals the year North Carolina went all the way. Sweet 16 game in 93. Sixty-four-fifty-six. Starting to use the clock. Stackhouse, you can see him down inside. Wilson just is keeping him out of there. Calabria knocks it out of bounds. Under five minutes remaining. Dean Can Smith. you believe it? Still, Carolina has not hit a field goal since 15-10 remaining in the half. And now, Nolan Richardson said, I'm coming back with the troops. The terrific play here in the second half from his twin towers, and Corliss Williamson comes back totally rested. Dean Smith over in the sideline, knowing his club's in real trouble. Had much more success here in Seattle when he came as a player back in 52 with Kansas. They won the national championship with Clyde Lavellet being the MOP. Williamson right in back, huh? Dean Smith in that game back in 52, title game in this city of Seattle. He played 29 seconds. He said, I have the highlight reel to prove it. <laughs> Well, made him along with uh, Bob Knight, the guy that played for a championship team and also coached one, the yep. only two. Foul against Arkansas's McDaniel. To set up another one and one. Carolina got free throws on its last trip. We'll shoot again here in the one and one situation, but the field goal situation lingers. Uh, Jim, the key for Carolina now to get back in this game is not on the offensive end or on the foul line. They are now going to have to force Arkansas to turn some things over and get some points off their defense, which they have not been able to do this entire game because of the great ball handling that Arkansas has had and the lack of turnovers. Wallace with that one attempt in the last 22 minutes. McInnes gets them both. North Carolina certainly not as fresh as Arkansas because Nolan's been able to put his three, three of his starters on the bench for the last four or five minutes. Beck exchanging signals with McDaniel. Now he flips it on a wing to him. Working around for Thurman's three. And Williamson, big hustle play right there. Wallace could have had that one, it well, looked like. He may be tired. He may just have gotten out hustled. But in either case, it's Arkansas's ball. Corliss Williamson has made him disappear here in the second half. He's got him pinned again. McGinnis called for the hold away from the ball, and that's his fourth. And that's the under four-minute timeout. North Carolina has missed its last 12 shots in almost 11 and a half minutes without a field goal. Do not become a cynic. That's a sure sign of physical and spiritual atrophy, a disorder that can be readily avoided with frequent doses of fresh air, adrenaline, and vast wilderness. For those of you who would seek adventure, take heart. There are yet places that speak to our souls. And to the dim-eyed know-it-alls, they will say this, I have a surprise for you.
Dad? Yeah? There's, uh, something I want to tell you. What is it, son? Well, Dad, you're my dad. And I love you, man. You're not getting my Bud Light, Johnny. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Ray, forget it, Johnny. At the start of a new millennium, you think about life. And we thought about a steel spine in the Mazda Millennia to keep the cabin exceptionally strong and life all it can be. The Millennia from Mazda. They say money will go farther in a new millennia. And apparently it's true, because you can lease one for just $349 a month and $1,000 down. The Millennia from Mazda. Nick Price holds the course record here and is looking to win a third consecutive major, a tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS Sports. You know, we've seen Billy Packer, shots made before the half, but you said as they were exiting the floor at halftime, that one's going to come back and really kill the heel. I think it really set a stage, Jim, for the second half, uh, not only in the point differential, but I think that refocused Arkansas as to what they needed to do. It's been interesting to be a fly in the wall in that locker room at Arkansas where they only you know, shot 30%. Crazy shot selection. They have really locked in here in the second half. Williamson has position on Stackhouse. Back out now to Stewart. Three-pointer. Got it. Inside-outside game. You've got to help out on Williamson. Stackhouse too small. Williamson, unselfish nature, puts it right back outside. This is great execution by Arkansas in the second half. Boy, well, Stewart has come up big off the bench with 15, and McDaniel called for that one. Now, Nolan Richardson doesn't want fouls here. You want the clock to run. There was the inside-outside game. Wallace doesn't get there in time, and we have seen Stewart, a 40% plus free throw, I mean, three point shooter his entire career. Seven threes in the opening game this year in the NCAA tournament. He's got a great stroke. One and one. Kind of interesting, Jim. North Carolina only has five team fouls. So, you know, even though they've been playing man to man, it hasn't been that aggressive. And Arkansas has been able to do about what they want to him. McGinnis asking for some pressure and double teams. Wallace bumped the body of Williamson. Again, that's only the sixth, so Arkansas to inbound. Hey, Jim, there was a good example of something that Wallace is going to be an outstanding player. But the difference between a man, Williamson, and Wallace, who has a lot of maturing to do, when everybody talks about going into the NBA, I mean, it's, it's like night and day. Wallace just not quite as strong or anywhere near as strong as Williamson. Oh, another overrule, and this one's going to Carolina. Stackhouse using his quickness. A nice move by Arkansas. They're not going to let North Carolina have anything easy. They're still pressing. Three minutes remaining. That press takes a lot of time off the clock. And a steal on the double team. They take it away from Rashid. Pretty quick hands. Yep. Now, what Arkansas is doing here, Jim, is pressing full court. Even though they've got the lead, what it does, take a lot of time off the clock. North Carolina can't attack quickly. So they're using eight seconds or so just to get the ball over half court. It's only 2.45 remaining, and the clock is stopped. The yes, clock is not operating. Shot clock is stopped. Game clock is moving. Now it's started, but it's too late. Three-pointer, Donald Williams in a timeout Three call. Points. Had to have been four or five seconds before the game clock kicked in the gear. Timeout called by Carolina. Williams knocks it down to six. It's 3 a.m., and you've got to get the year's most important contract to your company's biggest client overseas. And guess what? The facts just won't go through. What are your options? 
Well, now there's a new option. Call 1-800-THROUGH-FAX and AT&T's International Fax Service Center will help you solve the problem. Only AT&T guarantees to get your international fax there. Or we'll send it overnight. AT&T, for the life of your business. Nine to five. Nobody keeps those hours anymore. Breakfast is now the most important meal of the business day. But sometimes you need more than coffee to start your day. You need an important package. Introducing UPS Early AM Delivery. Not just by 10.30, but by 8.30 AM guaranteed. The business day may seem endless, but at least now you know when it can begin. UPS, moving at the speed of business. wonder what bears really do in the woods? The passport from Honda. I'm so proud of my grandson. He just did a raging 100-foot vertical. Oh, that's nothing. My Daniel caught some wicked air. That's bogus. My Billy ripped a white water free fall. Well, my Thomas does the do. Oh! Nothing more intense than slamming Mountain Dew. You must be very proud. There's only one late night leader, because there's only one Dave. Howdy! The Late Show with David Letterman. Mine is a Dave household. The one to watch. Check this out, Billy, with the clock shot in set. The game clock was at 2.47 and not moving at this point. And Nolan Richardson didn't realize it at this time. Now, after the shot goes in, he wanted to get the attention of the referee saying, hey, they should have stopped action. They didn't stop action. Then you see there's the shot clock going, and the shot will go up here, and it's a big three for North Carolina. Hard to believe that they have put themselves down just six. And you have to think back to the SEC Tournament Championship game where Kentucky was down nine with a minute and 34 to go. And again, the game clock was out at the same time as you saw the shot clock there. So a good six, seven seconds elapsed before they kicked it into action. They watch this now. They've already had the ball for a couple of seconds. Right. Four, five. And of course, if six, you're Nolan Richardson, you want to get as much time off of that clock as possible. It's showing 232 all the way around. Well, now. they did. They yeah. adjusted it then. They took an extra four off the clock. And that's one of those deals we can go to the monitor in regard to a timing error. Double team and a timeout. Beck was in trouble, and he called the time. $26,000 millennia from Mazda. They say money will go farther in a new millennia, and apparently it's true, because you can lease one for just $349 a month and $1,000 down. 
the millennia from Mazda. No trendy health club. No $60 shorts. No bull. Speedstick's no-nonsense formula gives you 110% protection. Like you, it never quits. By men and... Tonight, Chuck Norris hates bigotry, but when a crooked sheriff tries to kill his partner, he gets downright dangerous. Walker, Texas Ranger, tonight. Arkansas leading by six with the ball. And, Billy, what do you look for now? Two timeouts each team. Well, Jim, the two back-to-back -back timeouts, one Arkansas didn't want to call, but they wanted they didn't want to lose possession, helped North Carolina a lot because that was a long rest for the Carolina team that's now in pressure. Look for a jump trap now by North Carolina. Here they come. And Arkansas should look to try to score against this defense. Well, they better look in a hurry. Shot clock down to two. Oh. Stewart probably the one over the back. Yep. Boy, this Stewart. Very dangerous for Arkansas not to look to score, Jim. They're trying to be too pass passive. And able they've got themselves now in a situation of potentially being in a four-point ball game. Double bonus the rest of the way for North Carolina. They'll shoot two. Carolina, excellent free throw shooting team, as we pointed out in the NCAA tournament, shooting almost 75%. Jeff McGinnis, shooting two. McGinnis. Big miss. That puts you back in the situation where you got to be thinking threes. court pressure on the made free throw. Williams reached in. Arkansas going to face some one and one trips without, now. Without question, Dean Smith has been a master at extending games when they get down to the wire. When he had the four corners, he tried to reduce the time. And obviously the shot clock eliminated that. But he will go for a foul situation. Stewart, a 65% free throw shooter. Short. What a box out. Wallace retrieves it. And Carolina with some life here. Stackhouse to the hole for two. Incredible to think they went 12 minutes without a field goal or in the ball game. Point game and Stewart back to the line for a one and one. Jim, how about the shot at the end of the half? You know, when you start thinking about it, here was Jerry Stackhouse showing how he can power to the basket. But North Carolina was the team with 3.4 seconds that had a chance to extend their lead. That was a huge turnaround. On the eighth team foul, the next one also will be a one and one. Stewart this time. Wall. No. A three to tie. Carolina on an eight nothing run. Williams. Rebound to Thurman. Kind of surprised that he took that that early. But he picks it off. Calabria. Could it be at long last? No, he'll drive to the hole. Wallace hammered. And he'll go to the line for two. Good idea, Jim. A lot of time on the clock since you are going to foul to put them on the line. Go for two points here. One eleven remaining. Wallace, if he makes them both, will trim the lead to one. Arkansas just moments ago, it seems, up 11. 11 and pulling away at 11, Jim. His mother, Jackie. Calabria tips it up. And Stackhouse chases it down. Big double team in the corner, and they take a timeout. Timeout, Carolina. Calabria almost 
tipped it in. Carolina basketball down only two with 104 remaining. Looking good. Facing with your car is a great idea. Yeah, especially when it's my new Grand Am. Well, he couldn't take my car. Doesn't have analog brakes or an airbag. Or 150 horsepower. Your car couldn't keep up with me. <laughs> Man, this engine is really smooth. What? I said you're you're really starting to move. <laughs> hey, where are you? It's coming. To take cold. To take taste. To take smooth. To the extreme. Introducing Bud Ice. Now brewed to go beyond the others. To be an easier drinking ice. Take smooth to the extreme. Bud Ice. Tonight, Chuck Norris hates bigotry, but when a crooked sheriff tries to kill his partner, he gets downright dangerous. Walker, Texas Ranger, tonight. Well, we started out with 64 teams in this tournament. We're down to three with 64 seconds remaining. Who will join UCLA on Monday night, Billy? What about the final 104? The guy who will join UCLA is the guy that makes free throws the rest of the way. North Carolina now can afford to play solid defense, Jim, but they will go for steals. They, have, they find themselves in a position with possession of the ball now, so obviously if they could take a lead with a three, it puts Arkansas in a tough spot. If they can just tie it up, they can go back and play solid defense. Very important that they score here. And Arkansas probably saying, how is this possible? So they were up playing solid defense, great offense. North Carolina couldn't score for almost 13 minutes. Now Arkansas finds themselves, as they did against Kentucky in the SEC tournament, wondering how did they ever get in this kind of position. Dean Smith had a few unbelievable comebacks, as oh, you Jim, would expect. The this year alone, the Duke game, of the Wake Forest game in Winston-Salem. Of course, over the years, some incredible comebacks. Calabria draws Corliss outside. A lot of time, man-to-man -man defense here. Stackhouse driving. Clear out. Stackhouse to the line to tie it up. That was a set play. Jerry Stackhouse, one and one. And Jim, he got some pretty good one-on-one -on -one training this year yes, when he went one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jordan. He yep. says the score was about 18 to 10, but just the fact to go one-on-one -on -one with Jordan would give you a lot of confidence. That was when Michael showed up in Chapel Hill for a practice in early January. Now two free throws to tie it. Williamson picked up his fourth with that foul. Oh! See if Arkansas does a better job blocking out. Remember on the last one, Calabria almost got a piece. 69-68. Arkansas should look to score against this pressure. Oh, Stackhouse almost got to it. One more foul for a one and one. Would be a one and one. They don't want to put Scotty Thurman on the line. Dean Smith says no foul. Dean Smith wanted no foul. He wanted to have the opportunity, Jim, to have the ball with 10 seconds to go. That was the difference, differential on the time clock and the shot clock. So he just wanted to play solid defense there. Well, this will be a one and one for Clint McDaniel. Almost 76% from the line. Stewart has missed the last two front ends of the one and one. Well, it still gives North Carolina even he makes him a chance to go for a three. Looked pretty cool on that one, didn't he? Kid from Tulsa who grew up worshiping the Tulsa coach at that time, Nolan Richardson. Gives him a three-point lead. Now they got to think three. But take a two and foul if you have to. Calabria, Beck took it away and calls a timeout. No, they say first, a tie-up situation. So, and it's going to be North Carolina getting it back. Corey Beck can't believe the call, and I agree with him, Jim. I think that, number one, 
I think he had the timeout. And number two, if he didn't, I think he got fouled. Now, here you see Beck on the floor. There's no question that's a foul if it's not a timeout. It can't be a jump ball. Timeout, Arkansas, granted. I know what you're feeling. Only the world's most advanced long-distance network, AT&T, can bring you this patented breakthrough in digital voice reproduction. And today, AT&T True Voice is nationwide. Just let me and Anywhere you live, anyone you call, you get the best long-distance sound ever, just because you're with AT&T. Call for a demonstration. The American Business Day has no beginning, middle, or end. You're up by 6 a.m. to talk to London by noon. Late Tuesday in Vermont is early Wednesday in Sydney. No wonder UPS created Total Track. Up to the minute delivery information 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You may never know where you'll be at any given moment. Where am I? At an airport. But you'll always be able to track your package. UPS, moving at the speed of business. By all conventional standards, Maureen Carter was dead. <laughs> now she's alive, very alive, and on 60 Minutes Sunday. Welcome back, Mrs. Carter. It is Carolina basketball because they had the arrow. They did not grant the timeout right away to Corey Beck. One timeout apiece. And Billy, this I, looks like a missed call. I, 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 no question about it, Jim. Here's Beck on the ball. Now you see a foul on Calabria. Beck then calls for the timeout. There's no foul called. There's no timeout called. And now Calabria gets an opportunity to call it a held ball. Carolina had the arrow, so they get the ball back. Carolina. Big call for Carolina. We'll inbound it now with Calabria. Carolina down three. With 18 to go, you almost got to go for the three. And obviously Arkansas knows that. And who do they put? McDaniel on Williams. And he will really be shading him. Good. Probably will not leave him, even if McGinnis makes penetration inside. You got Scotty Thurman on Calabria. Well, Calabria, their hottest three-point shooter on the season. 0 for 8 today. Could he find a way to break out of it now? Got to get the ball inbounds. Uh, see if Stackhouse tries to take him again. Williams. McDaniel pulls it down. Seven and a half to go. And McDaniel will shoot two now. Double bonus. Rest of the way for Arkansas. Jim, with that much time, you think you can still get a good two and foul anyway, to, as opposed to taking the bad three. It's a little bit out of Donald Williams' range. Donald Williams, who the first guard since Gail Goodrich to average 25 in the final four. A little bit out of range on that jumper. Nick Daniel, who hit two big ones in a one-on-one -on -one situation moments ago, this time with two. <laughs> Sub in for Carolina, Pat Sullivan, Carolina. Five down with 7.5 remaining. I think they're going to go long to Wallace. Stackhouse coming out of the game right now. See if they're going to try to go long to Wallace. Pick up a quick foul. Sullivan runs the baseline. Flings it. That's the idea. To Wallace. Corvus retrieves it. And Arkansas is heading to Monday night for the chance to repeat. They'll count the basket at the end for Corliss. Monday night, the Razorbacks looking for the repeat. Well, a guy, a team that repeated often, UCLA, goes up against somebody that would like to have their first. 